This flow takes as its inspiration an image rather than a yoga-based alignment idea. And the image is that of a jellyfish. I got inspired by the idea of a jellyfish because they have a three-dimensional movement quality and they're pushing against space in all directions. So we have a very different body than jellyfish. We have lungs, we have bones, but we can bring awareness through the whole body by feeling and concentrating on that sense of touching the air around us. So let's come to stand at the front of your mat. Put one hand on the front body and one hand on the back and just take a few breaths, expanding and softening. As you do this, you might choose to put your feet underneath your hip joints, about two fists between your feet, and bend your knees slightly. Sensing how the body is moving and waving with each breath. And then inhale and expand your arms out to the side in a soft way. As you breathe in, imagine the hands and body filling with air and exhaling. Contract the arms together, the knees bend and soften. Inhale, expand in the space and exhale, soften. So a jellyfish image, like a rush of water, fills the balloon of your hands and then soften and propel yourself backwards. Maybe this image helps expand your breathing capacity. Maybe it brings you a sense of lightness and flow in your movement. The next time your arms open, go a little bit wider, take up space. And then on exhale, soften, bend your knees and start to fold forward about halfway. So your spine is facing now down to the floor but there's still a rising and softening. But step your feet a little bit wider and start to sweep this jellyfish from side to side, from leg to leg. Letting the spine, the arms, the breath all play along. And then on the next exhale, soften over the legs and make the jellyfish movement more subtle. Shifting weight onto your left leg, step your right leg back and lower the knee towards the floor. If you need cushion, you can tuck the side of your mat. Let's shift forward and settle into your lunge. And then like a jellyfish, the wind, the water comes into the belly and pulls you back, but not too far. Jellyfish, sink in and pull back. And start to walk your hands towards the right side of your mat. Sensing a kind of three-dimensional movement of the pelvis, settling and pushing the floor settling and pushing the air behind you. Let the right foot pivot and then walk your hands in front of the right leg so you're on the long edge of your mat. The left toes are also touching the long edge of your mat and shift a few times side to side. Let's bring the right hand in line with the right knee and left foot and then extend left arm up in a circular movement up towards the sky. On exhale, it sweeps down. On inhale, huge circular movement like a wave opens the body and closes the body, opens and closes. Some people might feel comfortable here to lift the left leg off and lower it down or to lift the left leg off and stay. Two more breaths. 
inhale, exhale, circle, left hand towards left foot, come all the way back around to a lunge. Step your right leg forward to join the left and ease down into a squat. Rocking side to side in the squat. So, some people can lower their heels, some people can't, it doesn't matter. Roll the pelvis side to side. The next stage of this movement is to sit back and then roll both knees towards the right. Come back to the center foot to foot and shift to the left and can you do this can you let the jellyfish image help you flow through from side to side coming back to the center on two legs hands to the floor and then float up, extending both legs, settling. Rock side to side, keep that movement going, keep the jellyfish image going as you shift onto your right leg and step your left leg back to lunge, lower the knee to the floor. Inhale as a shift forward, exhale a gust of water pulls you back and play, rippling, pulling forward, pulling back. Jellyfish also have that kind of ripple through the shape of their dome. So maybe as you move, there's a sequential ripple through the spine and then start to walk your hand towards the long edge of your mat, shifting forward and back. Coming to the hands in front of your left knee, left shin twists parallel and right toes are now facing the side of your mat. Left hand in line, reach the right arm up and stretch up, take inhale. Exhale, circle around, inhale. Exhale, circle around, inhale. Exhale, circle. You might start feeling confident to lift the right leg. Keep it lifted or lower it down. Right arm, circle it all the way over to your right leg. Turn into lunge and then step left leg forward. Let's step the legs wide, ease down into a squat. Hands forward of the body. You can clasp your hands and look over your fingertips. Inhale, exhale, gaze lightly over the fingertips and breathe steady. Now the dome of the jellyfish is your spine and back. Can you keep it moving? Can you keep it breathing? Inhale, exhale, ease yourself down to sitting. Cross your legs, hold the shins, take inhale. Exhale, navel pulls into spine, curl back. Slow motion, rise, rise, rise. Water rushing across your back, water rushing across your front. Last time, water rushing across your back, water rushing across your front. And then find yourself sitting in stillness, external stillness, internal movement, expanding with the breath inside the body and slow breath out as you settle and drop in. So move from movement into stillness with the breath as your transition. The 
this is a time it might feel good to stay seated and quiet. This is a time it might feel good to lay down and take rest. This is a time it might feel good to focus on your breathing and expanding your breath capacity. I'll allow you now to choose your own path forward with your own practice. Thank you for joining me on this jellyfish exploration today. Namaste.